I'm Herbie Bradley. I'm a PhD student at the University of Cambridge and a research scientist at Carper AI. I'm here today to talk about speeding up code generation with Triton Inference Server uh, on some of the projects that I've worked on at Carper. Uh, so I guess as an overview, you know, large transformers have been increasingly deployed at scale to you know, tens or hundreds of millions of users throughout the past year. Uh, a classic example that we are probably all aware of now is ChatGPT. Um, and the cumulative cost of inference for these large deployments now is significantly outweighing the training cost. Uh, and as a result, a lot of people are putting more and more effort into you know, heavily optimizing the inference of very large language models for uh, both research and production use cases. Uh, so I'm here today to talk about some of our work at Carper AI um, using large language models in research and trying to optimize inference for that. Uh, using NVIDIA's Triton Inference Server and Faster Transformer, which are you know, open source uh, solutions and frameworks to accelerate large transformer inference. Right, so this is basically our use case at Carper. Um, we're working on an algorithm called Evolution with Large Models, which is sort of synthesis of evolutionary algorithms and uh, large language models, in which the language model is used as the mutation operator. Um, in the evolutionary algorithm. Uh, as we can see on the right, we have this uh, loop with a quality diversity algorithm called MapAleaps. Um, we take a Python program uh, from the map and we pass it into our language model uh, to mutate the program. Uh, and then we place the hopefully valid program generated by the language model back into the map, depending on its uh, performance and fitness. And uh, in our experiments, we wanted to get you know, really fast code generation with our diff models uh, so that we can run this loop many, many times very quickly. Um, in particular, uh, our diff models here are fine-tuned versions of the Salesforce code gen suite of language models. Uh, these are language models specialized in code generation. They're, fine, they're trained on a data set of uh, large amounts of code from GitHub. Uh, and we fine-tuned them further using um, diffs script from GitHub. So in particular, you can prompt our models with a piece of code and a commit message describing the change you want to make, and the model will predict uh, a new piece of code, hopefully, um, which matches the change that you described in the commit message. Uh, and we have fine-tuned the 350 million parameter version, the 2 billion and the 6 billion uh, parameter sizes of these models. Uh, as for use in our evolution loop here. And um, we have found here are some you know, benchmark results from uh, doing this with a naive implementation in Hugging Face Transformers library. Uh, and we found the 350 million parameter model was around half a second per iteration, the 2 billion about 1.2 seconds per iteration, and 6 billion was about 2 seconds per iteration. Um, and so what we really wanted to do was to be able to run this loop uh, about a million times for a decent experiment in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, and so obviously you can see immediately uh, if, we, if it was to cost us around one second per iteration uh, or more, then you know, running the loop a million times is clearly kind of a multi-day uh, operation, uh, which is not really ideal when you want to get a fast loop of uh, to iterate on our research. Uh, and so for that reason, we then turned to uh, NVIDIA's Triton Inference Server as a solution. And now Triton Inference Server is an open source inference serving software for large language models. Um, and you can see here a picture on the right of the general setup. Um, it supports multiple possible backends, so PyTorch and TensorFlow, if you wanted to use, say, Hugging Face or Raw PyTorch for your inference code. Um, but what the inference server does, Triton, is it's basically a you know, server which will automatically create you know, more instances of the model for multi-GPU. Um, it's just optimized very well to just query the server, get back your uh, batch of generated results from your language model. Um, but most interestingly, the NVIDIA Faster Transformer backend uh, is the piece that allows you to heavily optimize the inference in the setup. Uh, the fast transformer backend is basically a set of inference optimizations and speedups for transformer language models. Um, 
it, I advertise results are that it provides up to 40% faster GPT-J inference over hugging face transformers and then also supports multi-GPU inference. And we can see some uh, results from NVIDIA on the right-hand side here, uh, showing in the blue the PyTorch inference on one GPU and in the green, the light green, faster transformer inference also on one GPU with the same setup. Uh, so there's really significant speed up there. Uh, and we wanted to see if this would work just as well for our code generation models and fine tunes. Um, faster transformer itself, it consists mostly of a variety of different uh, optimizations and improvements to transformer inference. Um, one of them is a layer fusion, which is just a set of custom kernels combining multiple different layers and operations into one, uh, such as multi-head attention. Uh, has a bunch of memory different optimizations where it might reuse or cache previous keys and values from the previous tokens um, in the inference. Uh, has a bunch of memory buffers, uh, which seriously reduce the amount of memory that you would need, especially for larger models. Um, it has a feature allowing you to uh, select a matrix multiplication algorithm, which is optimized specifically for your hardware. Uh, it also supports FP16 for almost every model in its architecture list and FP8 for a few of them. Uh, and finally, it supports tensor and pipeline parallelism for uh, multi-GPU inference. So tensor parallelism is uh, the setup in which you would split up uh, each tensor uh, across multiple GPUs and pipeline parallelism where you would split up uh, each layer across multiple GPUs. Um, all of these optimizations combine basically to give the overall speed up uh, and kind of make it much faster to operate your large language model. And so to get our models into Faster Transformer, we considered a few possible ways. So Faster Transformer itself consists of a bunch of uh, classes for different types of large language model, like GPT-2 or GPT-J. Uh, or BERT and others. Um, and GPT-J turned out was very similar to our code gen models architecture. Um, and so we could have decided to write a custom code gen model class in the Fast Transformer. But uh, we discovered that our code gen models only differed from GPT-J by like, a very small change in the calculation for the attention matrix. Uh, and so we decided to we figured out a way to convert our model's weights to this GPT-J format and then use the existing Faster Transformer support for that. Uh, and for an extra optimization, we also wanted to convert our model weights into you know, Faster Transformer's binary format, um, which allows us to split the model across multiple GPUs. So the way this works is uh, if you want to serve your model on a GPUs, then you have a conversion script to convert to a specifically a GPU file, which you then uh, spin up in Triton Inference Server via Fast Transformer. Oh, and if you wanted only one GPU, for example, then it would be a separate file. Uh, so now I think we can look at quickly at some results. And we have here a table in the top right showing some basic uh, timings from uh, our particular application of um, predicting uh, short Python programs, generating short Python programs in our evolutionary loop. Uh, with both Hugging Face and Triton and Fast Transformer. Uh, and you know, as we can see, the speed up is quite significant. Uh, these speed ups are generally um, at least five times we observed a speed up of, across a variety of like small tasks and benchmarks, uh, and sometimes often over an order of magnitude speed up. So we are very pleased with this. Uh, although I will note the results in this table and um, these numbers I'm saying are in the best case generally when the model does not necessarily need to be split across multiple GPUs. Uh, since we have uh, our largest model here we're using is 6B. Uh, and the input prompt is you know, relatively small. It's not uh, like 2,000 tokens or anything like that. Um, and so these optimizations allow us to carry out a full loop of the ELM algorithm uh, in as little as three hours uh, or less for the 350 million model. Um, and then around 10 hours or less for the 2 billion model. Um, this kind of speed makes much faster research iteration possible and allowed us to progress our work in you know, integrating evolutionary algorithms with large language models. And that's the end of my talk. Thank you for listening. <laughs>